All right, guys, just want to do a quick video just talking about the haters for Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Now, I'm not going to sit here and chill about the game or Rocksteady or anything. Yes, the game isn't fucking perfect. It doesn't have um, a lot of the stuff that people were interested in from the Arkham games. I understand that. It's having server issues. It's having bug issues. I've got to experience those issues for myself. I'm still enjoying the game for what it is, and I'm enjoying it being a looter shooter, grinding my character up. Right now, I'm grinding up Harley Quinn and enjoying that experience, and I'm enjoying the preseason. Now, for all the fucking haters out there, right? And the thing is, with being on YouTube, I can't be negative about a game. I can't be fucking positive about the game because if I'm negative about the game, apparently all I do is make negative content about it. When most of the time, I just want the game to be improved upon that is being shit. That was being TCM. I recently just come from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I made a lot of videos. Yeah, you can call them videos negative, but I was always suggesting ways to improve the game how they could have been doing things, how they could have been interacting with the community better, how they could have improved the gameplay experience for everyone and dropping replayability things for people and player retention like that. That is what I was talking about with Texas Chainsaw Massacre a lot because the game was very bare bones. It was flat and it didn't fucking have anything to keep grinding the game for. It was pointless to even keep picking the game up or turning it on on my Xbox so it got uninstalled. Now I moved on to Suicide Squad and I'm absolutely loving this game. We're going to have four seasons of content so far on the roadmap. There's possibly going to be even more judging by the stuff that's happened within the game. We're going to have battle passes and the seasonal content is going to be free. We're going to have additional characters to play like Joker, Deathstroke and a bunch of others that have sort of been confirmed. And just the only thing that you've got to pay for post-launch is outfits and skins, which I'm totally fine for. And that is how we should be funding a game as a player base, deciding if we want to choose to buy outfits for our characters or if we don't. And no doubt with these updates, we're going to be getting free content and free outfits that we can grind for and add to our characters. Now, I just want to say one thing about the fucking haters that come to my comment sections about Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, about my review video, calling me a shill. I think it's absolutely fucking pathetic and it's even worse you know this guy i'm just naming one person right here there's been a bunch of people saying i'm talking about my ass and stuff i'm being absolutely genuine when i give my opinions on this channel i am not going to sit there and force anybody to like a game or dislike a game i just you know i'm sitting here playing 60 hours of the game and it's only been out since tuesday last week and i'm you know sitting here playing that many hours of it it's pretty crazy i haven't done that for a game in a long time so i'm obviously enjoying the game sure the story sucked at some points the first 50% of the story was fine. Anything after that was kind of shit. A lot of the deaths and stuff orientated, orientated around the story was just not well done. It wasn't well thought out. Totally understand that. For me personally, I didn't really give a shit about the story. When I seen this game, I was like, oh, it's a looter shooter. It's something I can farm and do daily grinds on. I'm happy to have this, especially being based around the Suicide Squad. I'm not really bothered about the story of the entire thing happening. And to me, in my own head, I don't even feel like it is canon to the Arkhamverse. And if people just ignored that side of it, they would really see how decent of the game this is. But uh, understandably, people do like their single player experiences, story driven narratives and all that stuff around one, one or two characters, etc. Totally fine. You can have that. But See, this is what it is. It's a looter shooter. But, you know, having people come in my comment sections complaining about the graphics inside of fucking Windows, for example, and then start attacking me, seeing I'm taking a paycheck from Rocksteady, it's fucking ridiculously pathetic. It really is. And it's like these people don't have anything else better to do. It like, I don't know what else to say about it. It's like they really don't have anything else better to do. Leaving me fucking essays and paragraphs responding to me about this is quite absurd. And I go as far as to say, you know what? I ban you. Bye, get out my comment section. I'm just going to ignore you now. And then they come in with an alt account and then say, oh, this guy bans anybody who says anything negative against his opinion. It's like, no, you can have your opinion on the game. Just don't fucking attack me for having mine at the end of the day. Like, there's just no fucking need for it. You can come into the comment section. You can shit on the game as much as you want, but don't attack me for being positive about the game and enjoying it and pretending that I got a paycheck from it because it's just not what it is at all it's incredible that people actually think that and for people to go to the links of making an alternate account and uh, comment that just because i banned their original account for talking shit to me and spamming emojis in their messages and literally saying i've got no credibility just because i said the game was good and apparently i'm conning people into buying the game and another thing that i said to them i said anybody that has asked me if they should pick the game up i said yes but be aware, the game has some bugs and problems with it. It's not perfect. 
And even though they picked it up, they got back to me and said, I'm glad that you recommended it because they enjoy playing the game. That's just my story. However, this guy also just replied and quoted me saying, everybody I know enjoys the game. Like, no, that's not what I said. I said, anybody that comes in asking for my opinion and if they should buy the game, I recommend the game to them because it's the most fun I've had in a game in quite a long time. So... I don't know what it is. It's like people are just following each other around as a herd of sheep, jacking each other off, wanking over a game being uh, bad or whatever you want to call it. Sure, it's got its problems, but IGN keeps shitting on it. People putting out these fucking out of context videos all over the internet and then starting doing graphics comparisons to Arkham fucking Knight. Oh, God. What are you doing? Like, is this how much time you have on your hands? I've got a fucking dog. I've got a girlfriend. I've got a fish tank, aquarium to look after. I've got three cats to deal with. I've got a whole house that I've got to look after as well. I don't have time to sit here and deal with little crybabies in my comment section being negative about this game and seeing all these fucking things on the internet about the game and totally out of context. I'm scrolling down reading an article about Suicide Squad and something about, you know, uh, spoiler, by the way, pause the video or skip ahead. You know, Batman dying, and it's totally out of context about how they did it. Apparently, they did him really dirty. Honestly, throughout the entire campaign, it's pretty obvious that they're fucking clones at this point. And not only that, but they said they shit all over Kevin Conroy. And I just don't think that's fair to say. He wouldn't have signed up for this if he didn't agree with the script. And then they did a nice um, sign-off for him at the end of the game. They did a nice tribute to him. So... For them, just take things out of context, spread it miraculously like that, and maliciously, it's just absurd. I'm kind of sick of it. And anyone being negative about this game, I totally understand where your negativity comes from. I really do. I don't believe that everything is so positive about this game. I'm not delusional to think like, oh, this game's perfect. This game's a masterpiece. You know, Rocksteady's cooking or anything like that. I'm just excited to play it. It's something different, something I've been craving personally for years because I used to cover Marvel Heroes Omega. I did Avengers content as well. So having a looter shooter superhero game like this, it's far better than what we've had in recent years in terms of anything superhero related for like multiplayer experiences of course we had some good single player um superhero games like spider-man etc they were great for what they were they offered that story driven narrative but you know when you start fucking going back comparing games to arkham city and arkham knight and then using downgraded graphics from your pc because i literally seen a video where they compared it to arkham city and then it was like literally running like a potato on like a potato pc as suicide squad was and i was like no it doesn't look anything like that on the series x at least for me it doesn't but Again, if if graphics and a story is what's really bothering you about a game, you're going to get your priorities checked about a game. If you're enjoying the gameplay and how the game it plays out and how much hours you can put into the game, you're sure this game is, what, $70 for a Dulux edition on a CD key website? Fucking hell. Dude, I picked up a Dead Space remake last year. It was a great game. Only played eight hours of it, but there's, you know, 70 quid gone. And yeah, I could go back and play that, but it's not like I couldn't, like, I've already sunk 60 hours into a game I paid personally £100 for for the Dulux edition. The, the comparison is just what you're going to get out of it. You're investing money into a game. What experience you're going to get out of it for yourself. A lot of people have different opinions on what they want in a game. Me personally, like I said, I like to have a daily grind. I like to ha know that there's something coming for the game for to get hyped up about. Like I said, this game's got a roadmap, so we know there's stuff coming. But yeah, honestly, this whole hate train herd of sheep on YouTube and the internet about this game, I can't wait for it to just fucking blow over for them to fuck off so then I can actually just focus and keep playing the game and stop having these ridiculous assholes coming into my comment section talking absolute bollocks about me, my opinion, saying I'm a fucking Rocksteady shill, saying I get a paycheck from Rocksteady. Dude, I fucking wish Rocksteady would give me a paycheck for doing all this. I really do, but they don't. They really fucking don't. And legally, I've got a state if I did get a paycheck from Rocksteady to give my opinion on the game. But I didn't. I didn't get any early access codes. You know, I bought the game, G Digital Deluxe Edition. I got early access that way. I played the alpha. That's it. And, you know, that was enough for me to buy the game, to enjoy it, and to be excited for the future. And, you know, with the bugs and a serious topic on the bugs and the servers and stuff that's happening within the game it's going to take like maybe a few patches to get it polished to where I think it's going to be in a nice spot and for everyone to just kind of sit back and enjoy the game. You know, I'm sure Rocksteady will be paying attention to a lot of bugs that's happening on their website right now that have been bug reported.
And I'm really optimistic about this game going forward. I really am. Like I said, four seasons of content. We've got a roadmap. We know what's coming. We know we've got to grind for stuff. We've got to get things ready for when the new content does drop in the game. We've got to get our resources ready and things. It's, you know, that's how a looter shooter is. And that's how it should be. And that's how a live service game should be. Again, people talking about this game and shitting on this game because it's live service. Oh, I've seen so many videos of people going on, oh man, this game's going to suck because it's live service. You know, every every development studio is trying to create the next Fortnite. You're actually talking out of your ass because, you know, they talk about it being live service, but they never actually go into detail what that live service entails. And like I said, loads of fucking free content for everyone that picks up the game day one at the, at the fucking base price of the game. All you gotta do is buy the base price of the game. You'll get all this free content that's revisitable as well. So it's not even a one-time thing. It's the way, oh shit, I missed out on that season. I never get to play it again. Well, no, you actually get the chance to go back to that later on down the line. So yeah. I mean, but yeah, that's my two cents and all the haters on this game. It's fucking pathetic. It really is. Um, I've never really made a video like this. I probably won't make a video like this again, but I just need to state where my opinions are at about this whole fucking drama going on with Suicide Squad because it's just crazy and i'm sort of in the crossfire of it just because i have a different a difference of opinion and you know people literally coming to my comments talking shit about my opinion rather than just expressing theirs about the game if they just express their opinion that would be totally fine but you know when they want to come in the uh, comments and attack me about it i'm just gonna fucking obviously re retaliate and then ban them and then they're going to make an alt account and then it's quite cringe to make an alt account and then just to say that i'm banning people just because um, they said they gave a bad review about the game in my comments because that's just not true and that's not what happened at all. It's just incredible that people even went to that length, really. On my video, by the way, that only has a thousand views, not like it's a massive, you know, trendy video or getting millions or hundreds of thousands of views. It's like I get 1,000 views on my video and all of a sudden I'm the fucking definitive opinion of the game. It's incredible. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Leave me a like, leave me a comment, hit that sub button. For more Suicide Squad Killer Justice League content, I do stream this game Monday to Thursday. I'm doing builds and guides videos. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Pixel, my awesome views. I'll catch you guys in the next one.